All right, guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. We're working on our little teddy bear. Uh, and we did things different, so we painted the bear first, and I got to cut in a background, and so we're, that's what we're doing now. We're putting some things in here that we can paint around and, and make this look like something. I'll tell you what, again, we're using very rudimentary cup, red, yellow, blue. About as simple as it gets. Just red, yellow, and blue. I want to get this area up in here filled in, and we're just going to color that. We're going to grab just some plain yellow. But right now we have every other color in there. Let's get some color on here. That's so fine. I start getting over here plus these other colors. We're probably going to pick some of that up anyway. And I'm just going to get this on here. Some of these colors are still a little bit wet, just the last session, and we're just going to cut into it. And it, it might pick some of it up while we're doing it. So I pick up a little bit of that green, and it kind of tints it a little bit. I'll pull that up to the tree a little bit, get a little more yellow. I'm going to pull that up to that tree a little bit. So I'm going to put that tree back on top of that. I'm going to cut it in. Because so nothing's really smooth. This is kind of a, you know, get, the, get, some, get some light colors in there on that tree. I got that. I'll carry that over here somewhere. Cut in some strokes. And, and grab some more of that yellow. I'm going to just get this on here. I want that covered good. A little bit of green here I picked up off that tree. But that's all right. That's all background. We'll keep it back there. Now if we got a little bit of red off that gift, carry that up into there. We're going to change the color of that, that gift right there. It's too much the same color as the apron under it, but we'll change it to another color. And I'll tell you why I have this. So I'll kind of get these colors melding together a little bit. I want that to kind of look like a background. I'm going to grab a little bit of blue. Let's see if we can make like a, like a board coming down through here, like back here against the wall, behind that tree. Like it's kind of a board and batten thing back there. And that might work, it might not, but I'm going to grab a little bit of red, mix some of that yellow. So I can give me a little bit more. Let's see what we can do here now, grab that green. And see if I can't give me a, or blue, give me a little more of a board color here. There you go. Just keep coming across so I get to see what I want to see. See if we can't make this kind of like on top of that yellow. Pull those strokes. Kind of make it look like a board back there. Coming up behind there and just very lightly because I got paint to paint into. It. But I want that yellow underneath to keep that as a kind of a brighter color. I'm going to pull it under my tree. See, because my tree is going to be on top of that wall back there. And where it goes off over here, just Get a good color and put it down to that gift and pull it up a little bit. We're just trying to make it try to look a little bit like wood back there. Go right across that seam. I want to be there but not jumping out at us. There we go. Just a little bit of board colored background. You know what a board has in it? A little knot hole. Let's, let's give it a kind of a shape. Starting to look a little bit like a board background back there. I so see just while this was wet, I can move it around and do things, give it a cathedral shape here. We're just creating a board background. Look how that worked out there. First, I was wondering too. I'm like everybody else. What in the world is he doing sometimes? Now we'll take this color. I'm, I need some yellow. I need to get our tree going back again. Let's put some yellow in here. Let's get our tree back on top of this. Ooh, that's not a good tree color for a Christmas tree. Let me get a clean brush here. Yeah, I'm using a big brush for this tree for this background. I'm going to grab my blue, grab my yellow, give me a good clean Christmas tree color. Let's get that on there. these shapes coming. So I'm not afraid that those other shapes, I'm not that dark, I won't lose that, I'm going to come right below it. I like having some darks in there too. I remember where it comes out over that gift a little bit. So we're trying to get some of that shape back of that tree. Get some branches coming out here, see. Just the shape, just kind of good branches coming from everywhere. Right up behind there. I got a glare on there without so much water in there, so it's kind of hard to see. A little bit more blue, mix it in, get a little bit darker on my green. Oh yeah, there we go. And right 
there where his head's light with some dark in there. I'll tell you what, guys. This is how we learn to paint. We just do things, and some things work, some things don't. But we keep doing until we get there. We'll figure out what does work and what doesn't work. Just want it get dark. Let's cut it in there. I hope y'all enjoy painting. I sure do. Well, I have some of this. I'm going to go a little more blue into this. You can see if I can get me a good dark color. Have some of that red. I want a good dark color here. Okay. That gives me a purple. A little bit of yellow to turn it more brown. But I need some more blue in that. Kind of get a good dark. Let's see if we can get a dark here. For the edge of this cloth. Oh, yeah, that'll work. You know, remember it's an apron around the tree. So we want it to kind of lay there like an apron. And that's the shadow kind of under that edge of that apron. And we'll make that jump out here in a little bit. So we'll make that apron kind of roll. Like it's the edge of the apron. You see, no, that's the Christmas tree apron. Mama always puts every year under that tree. I got that good strong shadow color. Let's get that shadow back in here. Gotta have shadows. And I just erase that with my finger, which is probably not a real good thing, but it's works for me. We paint to have fun. Oops. I guess a good dark in there. So that dark up here, and again the shadow where he's casting a shadow on his arm with his head. I was trying to figure out where I want some of these shadows and lights. I like that good dark color. I'm going to set the bottom of that gift down there, the edge of that gift right there. Especially up under here because that's going to be in the shadows there. We're going to pull that color out of the shadows. I want it good and dark so the next color I put on top of it will kind of jump. It'll still be in the shadow but that gives me something to keep it down there. Put that shadow there. We need a gift over here. Something on this side. That kind of back in here. Somebody's resting his arm on there. So we'll cut another gift over here on this side a little bit. So I'm just going to make that dark so I'll make my lighter colors jump out at me when I do it. This is what I'm talking about. Don't be afraid to put colors on there because we're going to add colors back into it. That's why I have that good dark color and I got all this wet green. Let's get some shadows under those branches. So by mashing real hard on that brush, it's going to give me kind of a... It's going to give me that look. It was a Christmas tree. You look back in there, you got a lot of darks. The reason we want these darks, because we haven't started putting that tinsel on it the lights yet. We'll have to do that too. I'll tell you what. We're moving along. Y'all come back and we'll see what we can do. Y'all come.